Tonight I am mounting two wild turkey fans and I'm going to show you step by step exactly how I do this. This process is so easy. It's one of my favorite forms of taxidermy to do at home because it's so easy. You can literally do this on a weeknight. You don't even need to wait till the weekend. By the end of it, you'll have a beautiful turkey mount that you'll be proud to hang up on your wall. So without further ado, let's get right into it. What you need to get started is a knife, some borax, some auto body filler, a stiff bristled brush, a few heavy items to hold the fan in place. I've got a couple boxes of ammo. If you have some heavy books, whatever you want, just something heavy, scissors. And then of course, your mount. Because I have two fans to mount, I have two plates to mount them to, or two mounts. Does that make sense? This is the three beard mounting plaque, although I'm only going to put one beard on this guy. This is by HS Strut. And this is the turkey hooker by Skull Hooker. So you'll get to see how both of those are used. So let's take a look at these fans. This first fan is from an Osceola turkey, which is a subspecies found here in Florida that I killed last year. Cool thing about this too is you don't have to mount these right away. I literally threw this in a garbage bag, put it in my freezer, and that's where it's been for the last year. You can mount these whenever you find time. So this is my fan from last year, and this guy I just killed the other day. This is also an Osceola turkey from here in Florida, and I saved the beards of each turkey as well. This is my turkey from this year. This is the beard from the turkey last year. You wanna start at the back. So depending on how you took this off the bird, you may have more or less of these feathers in the back. Doesn't really matter. You wanna grab all of them that are not these primary fan feathers, pull them down, and we're gonna make a cut straight down with our knife. You just wanna cut off all of these excess feathers. Just like that. We're gonna flip this fan over and then we're gently going to skin these small front feathers back and away from the base. You want to expose all of the meat that's hiding underneath these feathers. Yuck. The tailbone is right here in the center. You can cut it with a pair of scissors or just use your knife to break through. Now we're gonna use our knife and just work all of the extra meat and gunk off of the base of these feathers. I'm also going to cut between each feather, each individual feather until it kind of looks like a cone. This part is pretty tedious. You just need to start to cut away all the crap. I'm bringing out the big boy. Super stiff wired brush. I'm just gonna start going to town, brushing back and forth. See some separation here? That's what we're looking for. Oh, it looks like I missed a little bit of the tailbone. I may need to grab a pair of scissors to finish cutting that off. No, it doesn't look great, but that's about as good as I'm going to get. As long as I can see some good separation between those, I'm pretty happy with that. Takes a little elbow grease. As long as you can see between all of the feathers, you're good to move on to the next step, which is borax. We're gonna sprinkle borax all over the parts where you see skin, meat, the base of the feathers. Allow that to sit for anywhere from 10 minutes 
to 30 minutes. Borax is very important because it's going to act as a bug proofer and it's gonna help clean up some of the remaining grease and wax that remains on the feathers. Ooh, borax, borax, borax. Make sure you hit both sides with the borax. After you've let the borax do its thing, it's time for the star of the show, auto body filler. I learned this tip from a taxidermist in a hunter specialties video. Auto body filler is the quickest, easiest way, in my opinion, to mount a turkey fan. All you have to do is mix the auto body filler per the instructions on the package, add a big glop to the base of the fan, and then stretch out that fan in the exact position that you want it to stay in when it's in the mount. Put your heavy objects on it, I'm using some ammunition, and allow it to sit for five to 10 minutes. Once that filler is hard, you'll be able to pick your fan up and put it right into its mount. Da, 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 da. Look at that. So we'll get some of that borax off. It's crazy, the auto body filler gets warm, like as it's setting. So if you touch it, you can feel some heat coming off of it. Pretty dang good. Let's check out the other one. Actually, let's just mount this one. Open her up. Three beard mounting plaque. That's gonna look really good. His like full beard, since his beard was really big and thick, that's gonna look really good on there. Wow, that's so awesome. My first public land turkey in Florida and now I'm a resident here and I've been trying to kill a turkey on public land here for years at this point. So this is, it's really cool to see this all come together like this. Now I need to add his beard. I'm gonna throw a little bit of Loctite super glue and then put it in its slot and we'll be good to go. I'm going to mount the second fan in my skull hooker turkey, turkey mount, turkey mount. So his beard has literally been sitting in here for a year and finally we have the fan to complete it. These are so simple to use. All we're going to do is slide this in And then to secure, all you have to do is push these three tabs in. Ready? Is it centered? Yeah. Yeah, that looks great. Which one do you like better? Wood. Wood? I think I like wood too. Here's the consensus. Skull hooker is easier to mount because you don't need to use a power drill to connect the bracket. But in terms of look, I think I like the look of the wood more because it's a more traditional look. It's a more traditional vibe. I also think part of what has to do with it is the contrast from the beard on the wood where I think the beard gets a little lost on this one. And my turkey from this year has some really beautiful black barring on all of his tail feathers, where the fan on my last year turkey, he doesn't have the same distinct barring through all of the feathers. So I think the fan from this year is just a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and I love the tradition of the wood. But they both look so cool, and I'm really proud and excited to hang them up on the wall. You know what? It's really nice how this skull hooker is giving some depth. It's pushing the mount away from the wall, and I think that really adds something to the overall presentation. We're just talking turkey fans here, but I do think that adds a little something. Yeah. Um. 
girly. She is our head security. Head security officer for the marsh rabbits and the squeals. Okay, that was good. I know I was saying that I liked the wood one more than the skull hooker, but I honestly like the way that they look together because the skull hooker adds the depth and then the wood brings the tradition. It just looks so cool. I also like how we staggered them in the corner there. I'm very, very pleased with the way these turned out. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next one.